Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. Juma Mubarak. In today's video, we'll be reacting to what Habib uh, said in uh, Moscow. This video was suggested by D. Rosso. Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion. For those of you who are new or new, happen to come across this channel and this video for the first time, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you guys to the channel. I upload videos every day, so if you guys like the content as well as the channel and want to be part of this journey, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn notification on so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back. Welcome back guys, we're going to get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, we're going to get started with our third and last video of the day. Всевышний просто создал всех людей, а не все ограничено. Даже посмотрите, наше зрение, оно ограничено, наш слух, оно ограничено. Ассаламу алейкум, братья и сестры. Я надеюсь, что вы здоровы. UFC lightweight champion Habib Nur Muhammad held a press conference in Moscow on Friday, August 14. The Dagestani-based fighter appeared to discuss his upcoming bout against current interim UFC lightweight champion Justin Gagey, wherein the Eagle addressed his emotions and his thought process and gave some beautiful answers to questions apart from his career. Все, что есть на земле, он создал ограничения. И, конечно, я тоже, у меня тоже есть ограничения. И в этом плане я абсолютно убежден, что все временно. И то, что я являюсь чемпионом, и просто то, что я живу, тоже, это тоже ограничение. Так что я к этому отношусь абсолютно спокойно. Сегодня я чемпион, завтра я могу им, им не быть. И, конечно же, духовные ценности, они мне намного сильнее <laughs> Habib's answer that he believes that spirituality is much more essential to him gives us an idea of the humility of his character, his piousness for Islam and his faith and responsibilities as a dutiful Muslim. We have been always taught as Muslims that no matter what or who you become, you are equal in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is your deeds, morals and character that is going to take you forward in life. You can be as rich as popular or as prestigious if you want to, but it will not last forever. Nothing lasts forever. Even if you are a wealthy man, a title holder or a conqueror, you will face defeat in your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us with difficulties and problems to watch the paths we choose to overcome our problems in our life's journey. Нужно на всё смотреть как на испытания, которые Всевышний тебе дал, и так скажем, не споткнуться, и не споткнуться тоже это очень тяжёлая вещь. Потому что ошибки мы все совершаем, без этого вообще никак. А если посмотреть на мою позицию, так скажем, да, у меня чуть-чуть, например, Ты можешь, мы, мы твоем можем одну и ту же ошибку совершить, но про тебя ничего не будет говорить. А про меня будет. Так что это у нас чуть-чуть статус, так скажем, среди людей, в глазах людей разный, но по жизни мы одинаковые, так скажем. Ты с Калининграда, так скажем, я с Дагестана. И имеет значение, откуда ты что-то. Нужно, чтобы ты был достойным человеком. Если ты можешь приносить пользу, если ты не можешь приносить пользу, то не приносить. Для меня это тоже польза. Так что духовная ценность для меня намного важнее, чем ты, чем я, и 
emotional and complicated status. The beautiful way Brother Habib explained his emotions regarding his victories in this world being secondary to his spirituality is heartwarming. The reason behind Habib's character being so powerful is that he is not only a strong believer but is consistent in nature to follow his beliefs. What made this press conference heartwarming is that despite being a powerful influence, Habib has never gone out of respect either in or out of the cage. Brothers and sisters, I am not telling you to idolize Habib or anybody, but we must collect the good from people who are true to their character. Brothers and sisters, never look down upon somebody just because they are a nobody. Remember, the life you are living is temporary and nothing but a test ground from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is your belief which will distinguish you from the disbelievers on the day of judgment. Every single passing moment brings us closer to either paradise or hell. Never forget that you are being tested, even right at this moment, and that the result of this test will determine your afterlife. Also, never forget that this result of this test is very near. So brothers and sisters, stay true to your religion and the rest Almighty will take care of. Do not lose touch with Him as they are no ideal people. No matter how hard the situation is, hold the bond tightly because if you lose the supreme, you'll lose everything. So that's it for today guys. If you liked our video, hit the thumbs up button. MashaAllah, that's why I like uh, Brother Khabib. I watch his uh, fight. He's one of the only fighters that I actually follow uh, because of the respect, the humility that he has. And, you know, SubhanAllah, his uh, father actually passed away not too long ago. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive his sins and uh, grant him uh, Jannah Firdaus and give Brother Khabib and their family sabr. Um, and, you know, Brother Khabib always stays humble. Although, for example, he has had a... Um, Mashallah, really, really good career in UFC, 28-0, uh, uh, which I don't think anybody else has uh, uh, done. He sta still stays humble. He doesn't, you know, for example, stand up and, and say that this is from me, but rather, you know, he says that this is from the Almighty. And at the end of the day, we all have to leave this world. Nothing lasts forever. You know, look at, for example, kings uh, in the time of, uh, like in Egypt, for example, Fir'aun, uh, we look at Chinggis Khan, Alexander the Great, uh, nobody's around, right? They had their time and no matter how rich, how powerful they were, everybody's under the ground. And, you know, even them, the kings and the emperors and the most powerful as well as a poor person still will go, you know, in the same uh, ground and similar uh, grave. It's not uh, important whether we are rich in this life or not. What is important is um, our deeds in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like uh, Brother Khabib said, our character, our, our humility and how good we are to each other. And what, one thing that I loved uh, that he said was, for example, if we can't do good, we should not harm other people, which is really, really, really good thing to think about as well as uh, follow. Um, you know, because, you know, if we can't help somebody, at least we should not make their situation worse. So I love Brother Khabib. I, I hope you guys uh, follow him as well. And we should, uh, um, you know, like the brother said in the video, try to take some good things from his uh, characteristics. Um, I truly enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you very much for uh, suggesting it. I hope you did too. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you like me to react to another video, please put in the comment section uh, below. As always, guys, Juma Mubarak. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Family. And inshallah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and wassalam.